Hey guys, this is Cassidy Gibbon, and today I'm going to show you how to French braid your own hair. Um, in today's video, we're going to go over two styles of the French braid. Um, one is with the two French braids, and then the other one is just going to be a single French braid down the back of our head. Um, but starting off, we're going to do the, the double one. Um, and so all I did first was split my hair in the middle, kind of use my fingers to make that um, center part, and then section off my the side of the hair I'm not using with just a scrunchie. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get started on this braid. So what I like to do is I like to just gather a nice chunk of hair in the very front of my head. Um, I kind of go off from the end tip of my eyebrow back and I grab that section of hair and I split it into three parts. Um, French braiding is actually really easy and really simple. Um, what I like to do first when I start the French braid is just start it with a normal three strand braid. So you have the hair in your hands um, and you're going to cross over the middle strand. Um, and so I like to do at least three crossovers before I actually begin adding more hair into it. That way you kind of create a base for your hair. So we're going to have those three strands cross over into the middle. So right over the middle, then left over the middle, and you just kind of cross it over three times. And then we're going to start adding the hair in. And when we add the hair in, um, the hair is going to be added to that um, like into the middle so you're going to cross it over add it into the middle and then cross your hands again um, and then you're just going to repeat this all the way down until you finish until you've run out of hair to add in and then you're just going to finish off the braid um, as normal and then just secure it with a hair tie um, and this braid again super easy you just remember to cross over the middle strands add the hair in as you're crossing over the middle um, and this as, as you just practice it your hands kind of get used to the feeling of how you're supposed to be crossing as long as you're going crossing over and adding the hair over as you're crossing um, then you will get the braid down um, when I was learning how to French braid, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, actually, when I was in high school. That's when I really learned how to French braid. Um, and I practice on my doll's hair. I practice on my little sister's hair when they would let me, when they'd sit still. Um, but honestly, like, I practice a lot on my own because that was, um, I had a, I usually have super long hair, like, down almost to my belly button so like it, it was really easy to kind of practice on it um, and I'm actually more comfortable braiding on my own head of hair than somebody else's which I find kind of funny but yeah I have a lot more confidence just in doing just my own hair um, I think just because I'm so used to how my hair feels and the texture of it and whatnot and so I can really um, just braid it really simply um, all right and then when we start the second braid it's the same thing so we have secured the other side it we're going to take the scrunchie out and then same thing we kind of go to the end point of our eyebrow where the hairline is and then we're just going to pull the section of hair back go ahead and grab a hold of that and then um just separate into three strands and it's the same motion we cross over the middle strand so you have the three in your hands so across the right over the middle then cross the left over the middle do that three times so one two three three crosses and then you start adding in the hair and I always add the hair in from the sides crossing it over into the middle um, and then yeah then you just cross all the way down um, as long as you're crossing over the middle strand then you're doing it right if you start going under then you're actually gonna start doing a Dutch braid and those are actually a lot more trickier um, I myself aren't too used to doing those ones because it's opposite of what I'm used to but so as long as you're just crossing over then you're gonna get the hang of it and this is a lot of just practice 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 and the more times you practice it um, the easier it get and then the muscle memory you'll just gain from it um, and that is basically how you do a French braid you just start off with a three strand braid and then cross over the middle and add the hair in crossing over the middle and then eventually you'll get it and the more times you practice, it becomes easier, and then you'll be an expert on how to French braid hair.
All right, so now we are moving on to just a single strand French braid. Um, and this one we're going to do straight down the middle of our hair. And so um, you can start this braid at any point of your head. You can start it at the very top where your hairline is and you can work it all the way down. Um, you can start it lower down, farther up, kind of just depending where you want to start it. I started this one um, kind of more towards the middle like a little more like kind of above the middle of my head um that's just kind of where i naturally when i was grabbing my hair that's just kind of how where it pulled to um so i again kind of started right where my temple was um like where my end of my eyebrow was and that's where i started grabbing the hair and then i used just both my hands pull it back and this is the same thing as the braid we just did start out in three sections um cross over the middle and then add the hair in as you are crossing over the middle um, and then just go all the way down. Um, these sections are obviously going to be bigger because of um, you're just doing one section of hair um, and then you just kind of braid down and then as I'm getting closer to the end I just found it easier if I kind of tip my head forward and pull the hair up as I'm braiding then it um, kind of braided easier for me instead of trying to like bend my arms backwards completely and then that's basically it it's super easy super simple braid again um, and then you can kind of pull out it a little bit to make it looser add pull the strands around your face to kind of frame your face um, but that is it and let us know if you recreate any of these looks um, and tag us in the photos thanks so much for watching